guys, it's Cherokee running back at you with another informational video. Yes, I'm going to give you a little information on the Dana 35 versus the Chrysler 8 and a quarter. Now, right off the bat, I'm not, any, I'm not even going to give you guys any information on the Dana 35 because it's basically junk. Um, I wouldn't waste my time investing money in it. If I was you, if you had an older Jeep and had a Dana 35 and you're running 31s, 33s, I would run it until it blows and find you a Chrysler eight and a quarter, or if you want to spend a little money, get you a Dana 44, or take a look at the junkyard and try to find you a Dana 44, or you can get you a, uh, you know, a Ford Explorer rear end to put under there and upgrade some things, make it just a little tougher. Um, this depends on your budget and depends on your money. Uh, we already know the eight and a quarter is ten times stronger than the. Uh, Dana 35. The Dana 35 has smaller tube diameters, you know, smaller everything, and the Dana, and the Chrysler eight and a quarter is, you know, a little bigger, not too much, but it's a little bit tougher, a little bit thicker, and a little bit better. It's a, let's just say it's a lot better than the Dana 35. Big fight going on. Nobody knows about what spline count what Jeep has, and by my experience and by other people's experience, um, 95 and down had 27 had 27 splines. Um, axles that is and 97 and up had 29 splines uh, my 98 Jeep has uh, not 29 splines I counted them to make sure when I had it out uh, in case I want to get a locker for it um, now some now the pre 97s and the 96s everybody know if you're into Jeeps everybody knows how Jeep is they had poor parts laying in the corner sometimes and they just slapped them in there um, sometimes your 96 will have 27 splines, sometimes your, nine, your 96 will have 29 splines. It just depends, I guess, how they was feeling that day. I have a 97 rear end, that's a Chrysler 8 and a quarter, it has 27 splines, and I have another 97, and it has 29 splines. So, just make sure you check, it's worth, a, uh, you know, it's worth to pull your axle out before you get a locker or anything, because a lot of information offline is, uh, uh, false they really don't know what they're talking about just because their Jeep had it don't mean your Jeep's gonna have it so even though I'm making this video uh, you just want to go ahead and pull and pull your axle and see what spline count you really do have like I said the eight and a quarter does have a better housing better gears and better tubes better carrier all that stuff so it's just a little bit better but I have seen people put lunchbox lockers in them sometimes and wear the pinhole out it's rare. It happens. Now, we're going to talk about a little bit of uh, the rear ends out through the years. Um, the Dana 35 non-C-clip has 27 splines. That's from 1984 to 1989. Chrysler 8 and a quarter from 1991 to 96 has 27 splines. The Chrysler 8 and a quarter from uh, mid-97 and up have 29 splines so this gives you kind of an idea of what you're looking at and like I said before um, make sure you just go ahead and pull it and see what spline count you really do have because the way this Jeep market is right now everybody's getting a Jeep they're doing this they're swapping this I've actually seen people put Dana 35s under a 99 Cherokee it's just anything they can get a hold of so just make sure you check and be sure we're going to be talking about some gearings here a lot of people wonder what kind of gearings these jeeps had uh, in different packages and just regular jeeps now your basic manual transmission gearing for uh, a jeep is a 307s so that's that's for a manual transmission with the 40 now you can get 331 gearing uh, on a pre-87 two-door with the fuel economy, a fuel economy package, um, they were rare actually to come by, but uh, that's what it has. 355 gearing is with your basic Cherokee. Pretty much every Cherokee you get that's automatic with the Asian Warner AW4 or whatever you want to call it. Um, it basically has uh, 355 gearing. Sometimes you can get uh, 373 gearing. Uh, some with tow packages. Every once in a while, I'll see one. With a tow package, I'll have 373s. I'm gonna write this one down because this one was a little, uh, a little long. 410 gearing with the 25 liter, um, that stupid motor they had back in the day. Uh, the older XJs, 
Um, it has it's a package called the off highway package. I never really heard of that. Um, maybe you guys have. If you guys have that package, leave it in the comments below. Now you can get 456 gearings. Now this is a very rare one. Uh, these are hard to come by and you pretty much basically never see them. Uh, they're on the 89s with the uh, 2.5 automatics. Out of my whole life of, you know, messing around with Cherokees, I've only seen one. And, you know, it was sitting on pretty much 38s and it was already decked out. But uh, my advice to you is if you're a little broke and you have a Dana 35 and you know somebody's got a Chrysler 8 and a quarter, that's a pretty good upgrade from the Dana 35 and you can go ahead and throw your lunchbox locker in there and that should do some, that should do for you for some mild wheeling. You're, I mean, you're not building an exo cage and going rock crawling. Or, a lot of people have success with just beating on the 8 and a quarter. Um, just depends how rough you are on it. I know a guy that's running 35s and he's just he's doing just fine with a lunchbox locker. So it's you know it just depends how hard you beat it. Now if you have a little bit to spend or your buddies might have one or you can find one at a junkyard, you can get the Ford Explorer rear end, 8.8 um, .8 rear end. Just keep in mind though when you go to get the rear end, make sure it matches the gearing with the, your Dana 30. Every Cherokee has a Dana 30 in the front. Make sure it matches the gearing in the front. You don't want to put a 373, 373 against 355 because it's not going to end well. I thought I would uh, throw that information in there for you. Like I said, if you have some real money, you want to, you know, you can get you a Dana 44 or if you want to go to the extreme, get you some one-ton axles, chop them down, have them chopped down, put it underneath there. Um, a, a Jeep Cherokee is an open door. Uh, it's an open field. You can pretty much do what you want to it if you have the funds. The, the, with a Cherokee, money is what limits you, basically. You can pretty much do anything from what bleeping Jeep done to a mild wheeler that you go out on the weekends with to a serious a serious wheeler that sits in the garage. You put V8s in them, people's done them. You know, it, it's, it's your pockets that allow you to move forward whatever you want to do. Um, so I thought I'd just do a little informational video. Um, if you guys have any corrections, maybe I got something wrong. It's just studies I've done and uh, personal account encounters with the rear ends and stuff. Leave anything in the comments below. Uh, you can leave anything in the comments. Uh, what kind of information you want to see next on a Cherokee. Um, I'm Cherokee Ronnie. Stay dirty. <laughs>